Welcome to another part of VR Sport Power Boat Racing. This time we're doing the championship as we're going to be going through and doing it with the Minel difficulty of the boats. Now, as you saw beforehand, there was a novice, there was an amateur, and there was a pro as well. And the thing is, the way it works is actually kind of surprising. And I'm going to show it Ready? in this part by Ready? essentially Two, cutting into one, all three of go. them. Because I don't want to separate them into their own parts. I honestly feel like at this point they should like be joined together now. But there's another reason as to why I'm joining them together and you'll see why when we get into it. But um... Right now we're doing the first level again, and you've already, you know, seen this. You know, the first three levels are going to be the exact same. They don't change at all, really. And you already know this is going to be a points-based thing, because the fact we're now going for a competition. Which means we're now actually going to be trying to get first, and only get the points needed to continue on, you know, win. So, this time, second place and such is acceptable. It's just, we want to be first overall in the competition. That's about the gist of things. But yeah, I want to really, like, emphasize more on what they did here with the difficulty thing. Because, you know, I'm doing this in Minnow, and I'm keeping it Minnow for the rest of this part. We'll be going into Pike next part. But, um... Yeah, I'm not mentioning difficulties of, like, novice, amateur, and pro, because I don't need to, really, when I'm combining all three of those together into one video each time. And the length of this isn't going to change too drastically. At least that's what I'm thinking. Because... I'm getting the film again, the lap ex extension shit again because of the fucking bullshit there. So, yeah, unfortunately, we will end up having to do like four laps and five laps again, probably, in this whole competition thing because of the Pike and Barramuda thing, whatever it was. But, um, yeah, Minal, we're gonna be fine. Barracuda, I mean. Yeah, Minow we're going to be fine with, because it's Minow, it's the easy one. At this point, we're going to get first every time of Minow. There's going to be no challenge at all now of Minow of these boats. At the very least, I am essentially going to be showcasing to you all the different boats still, you know, because we still got a good amount of boats. Now I'm finally showing you the arrow, considering last part I didn't do that, I went to Prometheus. And unfortunately I'm going to be using Prometheus again in the fucking next time we do Barracuda because I don't feel like I'm ever going to beat any of these races first with any other boat, which really sucks. Also, look at this. I just, you know, span. I didn't want to. Look at the AI right now. They are actually slowing down for me. They're gonna stay on my ass, obviously, but they're slowing down for me. They will never do that in Pike or Barracuda. It's just... The AI are really just a bunch of assholes in this game. Unless you're playing on Minow. Then they're fine, for the most part. They're still going to be dicks and re up your ass, but they won't be massive dicks. Anyway, the first major change here is in this time thing, because hey, there's now more than three. There's six. So that's neat. You get to see how far back everybody else was. And all that, you eat the points thing, because it's a championship to roll. And this is how those points work, they all go from 0 to 4, and then the first place is just another additional point of 6. And you can also save in the middle of all of these too, in case, you know, you want to come back and we try again of all this crap. I'm not going to save in these. 
I'm going to try and get them all done on the one go every time. Now it's time for Norway, which, uh, I mean, it's Norway, Ready? you know. Three, two, one, go. Way to go! I feel like the first three tracks are going to be fine for me on everyone's difficulties. That the AI will be a dickhead, but for the most part, like, the first three tracks are fine. You know, they're the easy tracks. It's the fucking tracks in the pike one that I'm worried about. Because you still got Amazon, and you still got fucking Nevada. Both of those are bastards. So, you know, we still have an issue there. But... The rest of these have been okay, to an extent, except Australia. I can't believe I got the shitty one. I can't believe my country got the shitty track. I'm still upset about that. But, um, for the most part, this isn't too bad, you know? Just This, this whole starting thing is going to be... To me, at least, an easy 18 points overall for every difficulty, as long as I don't fuck it up. And honestly, I've done these tracks so many times now, I don't think I'm going to fuck it up that badly. You know? We have a good understanding on what the fuck this game's gonna do with all three of these tracks at this point now. Every difficulty. We know what the game is doing now. So at this point, I have no worries when it comes to these first three tracks when it comes to this game. I know what to do with them. And I know how to play the game at this point too. I know all the bullshit this game has hidden at this point. And I know how to handle all the fucking, you know, the changing of how my boat's gonna be when it's riding about, you know. Change if it's gonna be like all the way up like this. So I'm gonna have to veer it down a little bit, press the R2 button or something like that to make better turns and all that crap. And to avoid flipping by default because the game felt like it. Because that will still happen. I don't feel like that's gonna stop happening. I feel like that's gonna keep fucking happening on those ramps. So I'm gonna avoid that bullshit as best as I can. Not only that, we never have track levels at this point. We have experience all the tracks now. We know what the tracks have. So, at this point, we're ready for it. We are ready for what to expect with this fucking game now. And now we're out of Norway, we can move on to the third one, which is Russia. Look at the times. I am kicking ass right now at Manel, and I feel that's because of the fact I went through so much fucking worse beforehand that Manel is nothing to me. Manel is piss. Look at that. Three of these people, three of these AI, have three points, and they are still different fucking placements, four, fifth, and six. That's something. That's fun. Anyway. We're now getting to Russia, and after this, Ready. after this race here, Three, I'm going to make two, a jump cut. One, because I did do the other difficulties, but I have now edited all of these races for the Minow shit into this one video. I've combined them all into being all nine of the tracks, which means then unfortunately you won't see me doing, you know, amateur and pro versions of this shit. But I can tell you right now, you're not missing anything. They don't change anything. They are the exactly the same fucking thing. In fact, the boats stay the same on the AI. And the laps. The laps are still free laps. So what does the what does the 
you know, the amateur, the fucking novice, and the pro shit actually do. You should be able to figure it out by now. I'm gonna give you some moment as you, you know, watch me do this shit again. For the fucking fourth time now. Except in this case, we're doing the same as I did beforehand in the first parts. Over again, you know? To be fair though, I feel like what they did of championship here is interesting. And I kind of like it. Because... Arcade was such a pile of fuck, really. It was a nightmare to really get through. Whereas, I feel like with this one, the developers were like, taking what Arcade was and kind of like, changing it up a good bit on how it works and how it functions and shit. And I feel like they did a good job at least on that. And adding some kind of variety to this, and it definitely does get a, does give a different feel with some of these tracks because of it. It definitely does change up what arcade mass experience in a way. The only problem is that when we get to fucking Barracuda. Like, we already know everything we've experienced with that one because of Arcade, so we're not missing anything out on that one. Championship's gonna end up the exact same way on that ulti when it comes to that. Alright? It's not gonna change at all. We know everything of that one. We have the whole experience, the whole fucking thing of that one. But Minnow and Pike are different. Because they don't actually affect the tracks. That's the interesting thing. They affect the AI. They, I guess, affect the laps. I haven't yet checked that yet. But it seems like it's going to be full laps next time. If it's going to be this way. But the tracks... That's where the novice, amateur, and pro thing comes in. Because at this point, I'll get the information saying, You completed this! Congratulations! Go try the Pike class! But because I went and did the next one, the fucking amateur one on this, I ended up getting past Russia and getting this. You see this? I continue... And look, it's amateur. We're still in Minow. We're in Nevada now. So, that's how they change this up. The, the championships, the di championship devotees, are actually on the levels themselves. So because of this, we are now going through and doing the next three levels on amateur, but the AI and our speed and everything is still Manal. The AI is still dumb to an extent. So this is still easy, but it definitely gives up a different feel compared to what we had to deal with back in Pike and fucking Barracuda, you know? Minnow is just so easy now that this was like a fucking, like, a nice jog about all these levels now. And yes, it does mean that the Pro Championship is going to involve the last few levels we did, including, you know, Tokyo, Australia, and Monaco. We're going to see those again in this part, and we're still going to be in Minnow for all of those. So... That's interesting. And honestly, I like this more. This does not feel like hell to me. Just racing in the Manal difficulty, going through these tracks again. Now the tracks feel fine to me because of Manal. 
Under Pike and Barracuda, they were fucking nightmares because I kept hitting the fucking walls because the turning in this game is so bad that having turn-heavy tracks is a nightmare for this. But when you have just this breezy, fucking, kind of slowish speed and such in this AI that isn't an asshole, and you have this ability with the AI and all of that, it makes this a lot more enjoyable. It doesn't feel like a stressful time to me having to concentrate that fucking hard and not get screwed over by the AI's bullshit or the game's bullshit. It honestly feels like, you know, I'm enjoying myself. I'm just having an enjoyable time playing this game now. And yeah, the AI has slapped my ass. They're never gonna stop doing that. But at the very least, they're not like pushing me around and fucking beating the shit out of me like they were beforehand. But they're being more calm. I mean, yeah, they'll still push me around and beat me up, but they're not gonna beat me up as much as they were beforehand. They're gonna be a lot more like, you know, playing fair in a sense. That being said, they're still cheating in a way. But they're slowing down so hard now when I'm behind them that they're letting me win, essentially. They're letting me have a chance. That's gonna change in Pike. That's gonna fucking change. And because of this, that means the last three tracks, they're going to be different as well because of the Pike difficulty. Because we only did Tokyo, Australia, and Monaco in Barracuda. We never did it in Pike. So that's going to be different too. We're going to see how the AI fares on that one compared to Barracuda where they were very forgiving almost. Except for Australia. They were still being douches there. But... I feel like in Japan, and definitely in Monaco, they were being more fair. They were being more easy on me. Well, we're going to see what that goes on uh, when it comes to Pike. Right now, though, we're just going to experience the Monaco difficulty with the rest of the championships right after Nevada. You see, we're done in Nevada. We're going to see the results. Everybody's times are lower than mine, so for the most part, I'm still kicking ass. I'm still doing good. And everybody's scores, because they're getting first, everybody's scores are very low. They can still catch up in a way, but I feel there's a limit to when they can catch up. And I feel like if I actually get first at least five or six times, I win by default, because so far, even if they were to fucking, like, you know, get first place in the last three tracks, you know, I'd still win. I would have, like, more than 36. I would probably have over 40 points, I mean, 50 points even, whereas they would end up with maybe, like, 30 points, like 30 or 40. So, I still win by default if I just get second and third, because I got first so much that I ended up that I end up with this like dominating fucking score, which is always the issue with the championships. Like, you always, if you do very good, end up with a dominating score, and then you can just relax with the rest of the tracks. But uh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm getting the kick-ass music right here, but I feel like it really gets a different vibe now with Manau because Manau is so easy and breezy that it doesn't feel as kick-ass anymore. It isn't just kind of... I feel too mellow to get pumped up for this. Everything just feels too fucking mellowed out to, like, be pumped up from the song. 
So I guess that's a downgrade, but I don't blame the song. I, I mainly blame the fact that the only time I get a fucking, like, enjoyable fucking ride is when I'm playing on easy of this game. Whereas on medium and hard, they just, they just want me dead. Like even on Pike, there has been great amount of signs of the AI just being the biggest cunts. You know, I'd still have to fight a good bit in Pike. So that's still gonna be an issue. But at the very least, you know, I have such experience now with these tracks that the game might get easier for me because I've kind of, you know, I'm starting to master this in a way. Get into that phase at least. I know that in a way I've kind of played enough of the first three tracks to like get very used to those and I feel like I'm starting to get that way when it comes to these next three tracks. This, the last one, and the next one, uh, Amazon. But we've only done Tokyo, Australia, and Monaco once. So that's still new territory for me. And with this part, we're only going to do that like twice at that point. So that's the least amount. And I feel like that's going to be like a very big drone factor for all of this. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see what happens. All I do know is that this isn't too bad. I'm managing well. I do have a fear though. I do have a bit of a fear, however. In the last part, we unlocked a few things. And we already know that one of them was Salam. We've already seen it in the menu. The other one that we unlocked was Mines. We never saw it in the menu. I still don't know what Mines is. Okay, I, I, I kind of have a, a think about that. I kind of have a thought considering you know, I already gone through this championship and all of that. So, you know, I feel like I might have some kind of idea with Mines. But for the sake of the commentary, I do really don't have an idea of what mines could have been because every time you've unlocked something when it came to that it has always been a mode never anything else it's always signified itself as a mode that we've unlocked so the very fact that it's not there as a mode is kind of concerning it's not even a boat we haven't gotten a new boat from this so what the fuck could mines be? Oh, well, whatever. We're in Amazon now, so we're nearly done with Amateur Championship. And by the way, if you complete the novice one, you get nothing. We're just going to congratulations to the Pike class thing. Ready? If you complete Amateur, you also get nothing. And just go play Pike class. So, with me now, you get nothing at all when it comes to championship, when it comes to doing championship so far, evolve the shit. So what about pro? Well, you do get something if you do Manel entirely from pro championship. There is a reward there. So the game does give us something if we do everything. And also because we're on Manel, I might as well go check this path out. Oh, that's cool. It's like Fucking Indians, there's natives, uh, fucking dancing about on a fire there. That's pretty neat to see. I'm glad I went there. So yeah, now we see everything on Amazon. At least we got to, you know, explore a little bit there. Doesn't mean I'm gonna go to that path anymore, though, because I really don't feel it's gonna be any more fast than just going straight forward, but... We'll still need to see. But yeah, um, I don't trust that jump anymore. I'm going to veer down every time I go for that jump because I just don't trust it. I feel like it's going to flip me off every fucking time. Even on me now, I feel like it's going to flip me off. So I just, 
I just veer down for a lot of these jumps at this point. Because I'm just like, I don't want that to happen when I get into Pike and Barracuda. I don't want to get fucked like I did beforehand with this fucking track back in the last part. I'm a lot more cost is rants now. Because the game's just going to automatically put me off for no good fucking reason. Then... I don't trust the ramps anymore. I feel like I gotta have to fucking keep my guard up with that shit and just be myself down at every jump almost. Anyway. We're gonna end up seeing the Pro Championship soon after this one, so you'll be seeing Japan and, you know, Monaco and the god awful Australia level soon. Fuck's sake. But yeah, we'll be seeing those again. And we're gonna see what exactly we unlock for doing this. Because there is something. Though I'm not exactly happy about what that something is. You know? Like, there's something about this something that makes me feel ill. But right now, we're just going to worry about getting through this shit. I mean, at the very least, the championship does give us a different vibe for all these tracks we've already done, and, you know... It does, you know, change things up in a way because of it. So, I like that. I like that the game can still change this shit up, can still make this shit feel like something different, feel a bit fresh. Even though we're still doing the same races, it feels like I'm going through a different sort of motion of this now. So at the very least, you know, I like that with this game. I feel like that's a good thing about this game, that it keeps itself, you know, it keeps the variety up to notch for this fucking entire game. And this is by the same motherfuckers who did a game I did beforehand. Aqua GT. And that was such a boring, forgettable shit game. That was their last game too. This developer, they made this and then two years later, Aqua GT. And Aqua GT was their last game. And that game was fucking terrible. This game is better than Aqua GT by a fucking mile. Also, now it's time, because now we switched over to the Pro Championship, and now we're in Japan. Still free laps, and still Manal. So, this would be a very drastic change, honestly, because, you know, if Pike, you know, it was a gradual thing still. But, we're going from Barracuda, the hardest one, to Manal, the easiest one now, with these last three tracks. So, shit's gonna be very different with the AI and such now, because beforehand they were dicks, but this time, not so much. They're a lot more fine. At least that's what I was thinking until I see this asshole just really jetting off right now. Like, yeah. You can see that the distance I was at, really, the air was starting to just go all out at that point. Because I was so far away from it. That's really fucked up. Look, I could not catch him up at all in the straights. I have to wait until the turns happen when this motherfucker slows down before I ever even have a chance. Which is weird. Why in the hell did they develop this game to, like, have the AI be either as fast or faster than you? I fucking hate that of this game. It's so fucked up, you know? 
there are good things this game. Level design's good. The fucking trap design's good. The music's good. There's a good amount of variety so far in these modes. But the AI and the controls fucking damn this game so hard. It just it just fucking killed us so badly of how fucked they are. And the thing is, if the AI and the controls weren't this bad, this could have been a fine fucking alternative for Hydro Thunder. I would have, you know, vouched for this game as a fucking, you know, nice little game outside of Hydro Thunder. If you wanted more Hydro Thunder, I would have recommended for this game, you know? But I can't. I can't win the game is this unfucking giving and the control scheme is this fucked. You know? Especially the AI. I could have let the control thing slip by if the AI was fine, but no. The AI are fucking bastards. The rubber banding bullshit in this game is fucked. Look at this right now. I am so far ahead now in Manal. Whereas beforehand, they would have stayed a good fucking bit behind my ass. The difference between Manal and Barracuda are fucking night and day. It's insane. And especially the fucking lap lane. The fact that they increase lap as well as the AI difficulty just makes the game go on way too long. There's so much shit that hurts this game, but at the same time, there's so much shit that does the game justice. I just... This fucking game keeps me in such a fucking wall. I don't know really how to even like result this game. I don't know how to verdict this bastard. I can't call it a good game because of its AI and controls, but I can't call it a bad game either because of everything else of this game. The design of it. The level tracks, the music, the fucking modes, and how the fucking variety of them, and how they do change shit to keep things at least a bit fresh every time with each one. Ready? Like, Three, two, one, go. I don't know how to fucking feel about this shit. It's really twisting at my fucking arm right now on how I want to, like, express this game. Because there are so many points where I actually start enjoying it, and there are so many points where I just want to fucking break the disc if I had it. It's like I'm in a fucking abusive relationship almost. Where the game keeps beating me up, spinning on me, fucking scarring me, yelling at me constantly. But it still treats me well and wants to do good for me. Like... The game hurts me, but I can trust it. It doesn't fully fucking, like, make me hate it. It still gives me good stuff. But it makes me have to fight for it.
This isn't even like Dark Souls-ish because with Dark Souls, that strategy there's the reason behind this military. That's like, you know, having to strategize and be smart and fucking like calculative and shit with your movements and your fucking shit you're playing out and all of that crap. What to do with the bosses and shit. This is just like, for the most part, fucking random luck and bullshit at play. But yeah, it's... It's still giving off these vibes. Like, just going through Manau, I felt, I feel like I'm enjoying the game. I feel like I'm having fun. Whereas not that long fucking long ago, I did the Barracuda arcade thing, and I went through absolute hell. My thumb got hurt, I got angry, I yelled. They insulted me in Australia here. Like, I felt so fucked from arcade with that fucking difficulty. And now here I am for now. Here I am for the fucking championship of now. And I'm just I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. But now I have this fear. Because I know I have to deal with Barracuda again with all of these tracks again. The fucking championship. The game has me in such a vice! I don't even know what the fuck to say about any of this shit. And also my computer just froze for a bit, so sorry about that. But... Oh god. I don't know how to feel. And the shitty part, the shitty part is that there's so much more of this game to get through. The game keeps giving me shit. I keep thinking I'm gonna be done with this in like a few parts, and then it throws more and more stuff at me. And the stuff it throws at me, like the championship here was our first unlockable, and it changes shit up compared to arcade. So. It's not like the fucking modes it gives me so far are just the same shit. It feels like they're actually trying with this. It feels like they're actually changing up the game. I just don't know. And again, two years later they make Aqua GT. And it's the most boring, repetitive pile of shit game I've ever fucking played when it comes to these boat games. It is the worst of all of them. Rapid Racer sucked, but at least that kept itself in my memory because it was so bullshit at times. And because it did have moments of being different, of being you know, interesting, having some neat ideas, but it was still really fucking bad. But this game, this game just, it obviously beats Awkward fucking GT, but I honestly think it beats Rapid Racer as well. I honestly believe out of all of these Hydro Thunder knockoffs, this is the best one. And yet, it hurts me. It insults me, it hurts me, it laughs at me. And yet, it's so far the better one when it comes to these clones of the original Hydro Thunder game on PS1. At the very least. I'm fucking shocked that I'm even saying this right now.
And you know what? If this was it with Championship here, if these nine tracks were all I had to do, then, you know, it would have been a bit repetitive, but at the very least, you know, it's still different in a way. So I still feel like I'm accomplishing something. I'm still getting something different from this game. But then I... I went past the score here, 54 points, which is a bit weird and uneven. And the game gives me this. And I press continue. And I meet Mines! Mines is a level! The game has more levels. And I never even knew that. I don't think anyone knew that. And it's a fucking neat looking tunnel level. But then we have the fear. Because this is such a cool looking level and I like it. I like the stagmites up there. I like there's a minecart going past at times. I like the design of the whole fucking thing and the industrial parts of the tunnel and all of that shit. And this whole lava area looks fucking awesome to me on the PS1. But... It's hallways. It still has a bit of that turn heaviness to it. It's the things... That with the layer difficulties of these fucking AI and boats... Become a nightmare. So... I like the level, but I hate where it's gonna lead. I am in such a love-hate relationship with this fucking game. I don't think I've ever really experienced this sort of feeling from many games before. Where I hate it so much at times, but I also like it a lot. It's so fucking weird to me. And the thing is, so, there are other reviewers and shit who call this game one of the worst Hydro Thunder clones ever made and all of that shit. But you know what? Having just gone through all of arcade mode and having just only done, like, the first of the championship so far with just Manel and experiencing all of this so far, they're wrong. There is way worse. This is one of the better ones. But at the same time... It's like I don't really want people to really play this game because I don't want people to get all upset and angry and fucking furious at the game. For just... Hurting them. For just being the biggest dickhead towards the player. I just... I don't know how to fucking... I don't know what the fuck to say about this game. I don't know if I should hate it for the bullshit it's done to me, or if I should love it for the shit it's giving to me. I am so fucking torn. I just... I got, I got nothing right now on my feelings of this game. I've got absolutely nothing. I was so angry last part, but now I'm just... I'm at odds of myself and my feelings now. I don't know what the fuck to feel.
but yeah, after doing mines and being the winner in mines, we probably it's not location, by the way, it's just a level name called Mines. Which is interesting. But yeah, after doing that, we have actually done all the 10 tracks now. And I've completed the championship with 60 points, which is a more average, normal thing to have of championships. And so because of that, my rewards are, ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten modes, we've gotten a level, but now the game, after telling me that I'm a winner and I should try racing the Pike class once again with this cool looking fucking screen here with mines. But after all of this, what it gives me is new boats, the Katamarans, with password min. So for doing the championship, I now have new boats, but only in the Manau class. I have to do championship with Pike and Barracuda in order to fucking get more of Katamaran unlocked. But if we check it out right now, the boats are new and different. We have sports. These are fucking speed boats. Now, these are race boats. We have the Burr race car or wreck car. Uh, the ones we have before, I believe, are speed boats. These are race boats. We have the Cancom. The designs of these boats are neat. We have the car hull. We have Team Harwood, with MDA on the side. We have Energy, the fucking, the, the thing here, the, I've got the name of it, the fucking thing that, you know, makes your boat go, also says Energy on there. There's the Rising Sun, it says it's a little bit of a sun design there, I guess, the Japanese one. And we got the names of the fucking game, the VR Sports Boat. We got the VR Sports Sports Power Boat right there. We're not doing Katamaran for a while. Because next time we're going back to the championship for Pike. And we know we're getting another one of the boat, the, the Katamaran boats there with this one. But we might get something else as well. Who fucking knows? But next time we're doing that with the stag. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time for that.